What is going on guys? Dr. D from the OneHive 2.0 family here, uh, bringing you a war recap from a recent random spin that OneHive Invicta had with uh, Chosen Elite. Um, we have matched these guys before. They are a great clan. Uh, a lot of fun to, to war against these guys. Um, if you haven't already, go and check out their, their channel. It's run by Grim. Uh, he does a great job. <laughs> Very animated YouTuber. Um, okay, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this war. Okay, so here are the war statistics, uh, 64 to 69, 90% uh, total destruction for Invicta, 93% for Chosen Elite. Um, if we go and we look at the uh, the map here, the war map, uh, you can see that uh, Chosen Elite was able to two-star all of our Town Hall 11s, all three, and then they tripled, I think, five of our Town Hall 10s, uh, four of our Town Hall 10s, so... So yeah, uh, I mean, good showing by them. They cleared all of our nines. On the other side of the board, uh, one star here, one star here. That really hurt us. And we were only able to triple three of their tens, so they had one more than we did. Um, they did have one additional ten, so um, a little bit of a, an advantage. But no, uh, that, that isn't a five-star differential there. These guys really... Um, had, a, had a great showing. Uh, we, we had a nine that we really struggled with down here. So uh, good job, guys. Um, props to all of the Chosen Elite guys over there. Uh, they did a, had, had a very nice war. <clears throat> um, real quick, our uh, kind of six-star warriors this, this past war, Savage, who seems to be putting up six stars in Elite Wars pretty consistently at this point. Um, HB, of course, uh, always um, seems to be good for, for a six-pack. And uh, then we had a, a Town Hall 10, Templar Assassin, who also had himself a six-pack. Uh, we're going to watch one of his attacks on a Town Hall 10 here. Um, in fact, why don't we start with that one? So we're going to come down here to number eight. This is Templar Assassin. And I'm going to start down here. This is, uh, if you look at the troop count, you can see it's a, it's a Queen Walk Lalo. And he does a... a a very nice job of uh, starting to clear stuff and you'll see his queen does huge amounts of work here uh, giant comes down over here uh, tanking a little bit just to clear a path um, wizards come in get a little bit of, of, of trash cleared out of there and the goal here as you'll see was he wanted to be able to drop a jump spell and get his king to go right up there to the um, to the Inferno Tower, it's not going to happen, um, but fortunately, uh, the Queen does plenty of work here and it doesn't really matter, and he's able to get that with the Lalo portion of his of his attack. Uh, Baby Dragon goes over here just to kind of help the Queen out a little bit. Uh, she's got a long ways and a lot of trash to push through uh, moving along this side, so Jump Spell comes down. King is going to get dropped, but he locks on to this storage, so we've got a swagged spell there. Uh, there are no more ground troops, if you have a look here, so um, all that's going to happen now from this point forward is the queen walk. Uh, queen is still walking over here. Rage comes down on her. Uh, still has four air defenses up, which is a bit scary, and only has three hounds. Queen is still walking over there. Lalo is in. Uh, the enemy queen is still up, but she jumps up to that test or to that uh, inferno tower and gets roasted pretty quickly. So one hound has popped. Uh, he's got all two hounds uh, right now and a couple of spells. Another hound pops. This is a little bit scary here because right now he's got one hound up, two ADs up, now no hounds up, but fortunately all of his loons are right over that AD. Uh, a freeze comes down for that Inferno Tower. Um, it, it comes online just long enough to get roasted by the loons. And, and you can see right now this is GG. There are just too many loons uh, for these two last defenses, a Wizard Tower and a bow, and that's it. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Very nice job, Templar Assassin. Beautiful 10v10. All right, we've got another 10v10 10 10, 10 that we're going to check out, and this is CBG down here. And 
CBG is going to be coming with one of these mass bowler uh, witch attacks. So it starts by dropping a couple of bowlers, a couple of witches with those bowlers, setting a nice funnel to push everything to the inside. Now these attacks, of course, usually have two or sometimes even three jump spells, and, and that's what's happening here. And it's it's a bit of a spammy attack, right? I think we, we've had some discussions about this. Um, but it's so overpowered. I mean, just tons and tons of troops. And uh, a lot of it has to do with all of these skellies that come in and tend to distract defenses, um, allowing for those uh, allowing for those bowlers to live a bit longer than they normally would inside all of that stuff because bowlers are a bit squishy. Uh, anyway, um, second jump is down. Um, bowlers are in the core there. Heroes are in the core. And then we've got some witches and maybe a couple of bowlers working around the outside but those skellies do a nice job of cleaning up and distracting things distracting defenses so that the uh, um, witches can take those defenses out they've got a bit more power they're not they're not as weak as they used to be right we, we had a, a, a buff to witches not that long ago um, all right so we're down to the bottom half of this base at this point still have some witches up still have some bowlers up Again, these skeletons are distracting for these uh, for this bowler and this these witches up here. Queen busts through the wall, and just two point defenses left, and that is it. They're gone. This base is GG. It is tree stars in the bag. Pops the queen's ability, basically a swag ability there, and we'll speed this up a little bit. Got a <laughs> hut up there, the, and that is it. Three stars in the bag. Nice job, OCCBG. All right, let's move down and let's look at Nalia. Nalia? I'm not sure exactly. I probably killed that. But, uh, so um, this is an example of the never give up type of attack here. So uh, it's it's a um, it's a stoned hobo. And so three golems are in, setting the funnel. Um, wouldn't have hurt to drop, there it goes, a poison on that queen a little bit earlier, just so that, you know, that golem didn't get completely destroyed. But uh, anyway, two pretty decent uh, health golems up. A very nice funnel set, which pushes all of those bowlers inside, and that's exactly what you want. One jump spell in this, because you can get access to virtually the entire base with a single jump spell once you bust through the, excuse me bust through that wall so um bowlers are in king is in queen is in and just wrecking so center of this base is just getting destroyed however uh the hogs that he has catch several of the uh <laughs> several of of the uh, spring traps here and he just winds up losing a lot of hogs um, those hogs wind up hitting just outside of that, uh, that bomb doesn't help. So anyway, he's gonna, he or she, I, I actually think that this is, this is Heartless's, uh, um, mini account, but I'm not positive about that. Uh, maybe he'll leave a comment in the, <laughs> the comment section and let us know. I think this is Heartless. Anyway, loses all of the hogs here. They're, they're, they're gone. Uh, had tried to send a wizard in there to help out. Now, fortunately, this uh, expo gets really hung up on this golem here and you'll see here in just a second but these these uh heroes are able to kind of work their way around and finish off the last of this base still hasn't used the queen's ability it's going to get popped right there uh, pushes through that town hall and there we go golem finally pops and and un i mean fortunately the uh, golem and then these bowlers just sat there and distracted this expo for a long time. But that is it. Queen is going to take it out, and it is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Nali Nalia. Nalia? I don't know. That's why you never quit an attack, right? Okay. Um, oh, I actually I, I missed one. Let's go up here because PAB had a really, really nice attack. Um, I want to watch this. Uh, he, he does this attack quite frequently, 
It is the Go Bow Drag, I guess you would call it, uh, but with baby dragons instead of um, what we traditionally think of as the Go Bow Drag with using using several uh, normal sized dragons. So uh, golems are down, test wall breaker comes in, and there we go. Beautiful funnel set. This is a very deep funnel there, so you know that those bowlers are going where they're supposed to be going. Jump spell comes down, in with a third golem, and uh, I've noticed that PAB likes to use the third golem quite frequently with this. Uh, gives a lot of tanking, a lot of push. Uh, so second jump spell comes down. He's going to be able to get all the way to the last uh, air defense here. And of course, that's the goal with this attack is to be able to get to all three of or all four of those air defenses with your kill squad um, bowlers, uh, you know, um, the healers and or I mean uh, <laughs> heroes. So um, all the way in uh, takes out the first expo uh, rage or pops his king's ability. Second expo goes down. Uh, queen is there, and she's focusing on that king, and those wizards are going to take out that queen. Um, of course, that Tesla farm is a little bit problematic. Wizards taking out this thing. Queen did not make the jump, um, but now baby dragons are coming in. And he does this very, very well. Unfortunately, you've got three baby dragons that are too close together here, so they wind up getting uh, stuck on the, or they wind up losing their enraged ability. But uh, Queen is up here, um, able to take out all of the all of the Teslas, and now he just brings in these last baby dragons. Loses one to a, a seeking air mine there, but it doesn't matter. Um, plenty of plenty of power to take care of the the last corner of this base. We'll we'll speed it up just a little bit here. Queen is beating through a wall. Once she gets through there, she's going to take out that wizard tower, and point defenses are gone. Eventually, the queen goes down because of a mortar. Uh, but we've got one point defense left, only one thing that, that can touch these baby dragons, and it is not going to happen. This is GG, Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, PAB. Love to watch these attacks. All right. Let's go down and let's watch an attack by Savage. So, Rising Savage is uh, she did a quad uh, i believe for both attacks here and this is something that we've been seeing a lot more recently um using the zap quake on uh one of those air defenses especially if you can try and get a sweeper and unfortunately it has just a little bit of life yet um, starting to set a funnel here so that she can use her heroes to take out the enemy queen um, and that's going to happen here real quick I believe she gets the enemy queen with her heroes. Yeah, there it is. Uh, poison spell goes down. King starts beating on the wall. Uh, pops a queen's ability probably a bit early there. Um, doesn't really matter, though. Uh, queen is just going to beat on that, um, <laughs> on that lava hound for a while. Uh, anyway, starts the Lalo portion here. And you can see, got a couple of hounds in there right now. And she's just going to work things around this uh, down towards 6 o'clock. So uh, three hounds in. Has there finally pops a hound. And notice for her spells, she she used four haste spells in addition to the zap quake. Um, this keeps those, keeps those loons moving around the, the base at a good pace. All right, the last hound is in, and it pops at the perfect time, and that is it. Uh, plenty of loons. Still has four loons in the bag, as well as some um, some minions for cleanup. So starts getting those minions down at this point, um, and, and now it is just cleanup time. And look at all of these cleanup troops. She's able to drop uh, strategically drop these loons on places where there aren't troops so that she can... Uh, they can move in and act as cleanup troops, and it is tree stars in the bag. Huge amount of troops left. Very nice job, Savage. All right. Um, let's move down here. We are going to look at number 19, and this is attack by Shubham Mishra. And so Shub uh, is, is a recent addition to Invicta. Um, this was a cleanup hit, obviously. You can see... 
uh, we've got a, a loon that comes down over here and uh, taking out that troll Tesla and this is a Bolalo um, so we've got uh, a minion over here setting a funnel we've got a baby dragon up top setting a funnel and he's gonna be coming in right here uh, at, at these um, at these mortars so one golem goes down some wizards down to help set the funnel here comes a second golem notice this is a this is a deep spot to enter and actually I believe that uh, Shub does a, a wall break right here in front of this uh, in front of this wizard tower which is kind of a scary place for a wall break but when all of your golems uh, move over here and your wizard is focused on that you can wall break in right in front of a wizard tower and that's what he does um, jump spell is going to come down right there and he has got the majority of his kill squad in takes out both of those um, both of those expos seems like a, a bad spot to put two expos right on the outside there heal spell comes down going to use a rage spell here pretty quickly there it is all right uh, so at this point both expos are down queen is still up got two air defenses down and that's really the goal the primary goal with with a bolalo is get two of those air defenses down if you can get three fantastic but um, in with uh, the loon or in with the loons in with the hounds so the air portion is moving um, that first hound catches a lot of traps uh, which is good you want it to pop unfortunately when it pops next to a wizard tower uh, you don't see a lot of things surviving maybe a bit early on these south loons because <laughs> that air defense picks off several of the loons before the hound works its way down there you'll see that this hound is going to pop at the perfect time that's what you'd love to see right there uh, so hound pops that is it uh, king pops his ability to take care of the enemy king over there and it is tree stars in the bag we've got one uh, wizard tower up there so the loons are going to go take care of that and everything else is going to clean up on the bottom side of the space and there we go, tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Shub. All right. I'll tell you what, I really struggled with uh, which one of these last attacks to show. Um, I'll, often I don't show the same person with uh, two attacks. Um, HB had two really cool attacks, though. So uh, if you look down here, you'll see she's got um, three, uh, three lava hounds. This has got a fourth lava hound in the CC. This is going to be a quad. Uh, a uh, quad Lalo, um, but she's also bringing some Valks, and so these Valks are going to help rip through, get this queen, um, help clear out some areas here. See, as soon as that queen starts uh, hitting those Valks, the Valks aggro on the queen, the king rips through, and they do wind up getting to the enemy queen. Um, she has a lot of a lot of wizards here initially to start out, and it's a good thing because these wizards. Um, do some work on this enemy CC. Now, unfortunately, they don't wind up killing that dragon. Uh, you'll see here the loon gets taken out, but the dragon, it survives, and it survives a long ways into this raid. So dragon takes out some of those air things. Now we've got the Lalo portion starting up here. A uh, couple of hounds are in, um, but that dragon is still up and kicking. Just took down a loon, uh, just took down another loon. Uh, so she drops a heal spell, hoping to kind of keep some of these loons uh, up. The, the dragon is blowing on those loons right there. And finally, we get a hound to pop to start attacking that dragon. And there it goes down. Um, so uh, reuses a rage spell right here to push through this Tesla farm. One, uh, only one air defense left. Uh, I believe this other loon is going to pop here. Maybe it doesn't, though. Maybe she winds up with... Oh, there it goes, yeah. And that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. It's cleanup after at this point. So, very nice job. We've got a, a swag hay spell down there. She, she uses just briefly up there to help clear out some, some junk. And that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, HB. And because I really like Penta, we're going to show one more attack by HB. So... HB is going to come in with a Penta here, uh, drops archers just to start clearing the, the way there like we do. Um, a giant down here just to lure the CC. This is a perfect base for a Penta. Um, able to get the queen and the CC cleared 
with just heroes is that's that's um, a lot of value there. There goes the queen, and there finally, uh, heroes are down or, or the CC is down. Notice we've also got a ground only bow here that makes a penta a little bit easier. Um, has a loon that decided to to kind of take off, veer off here, um, but anyway, we've got two. Uh, two Lava Hounds down, um, got a couple of Loons heading in, I bring in two more Lava Hounds right here. So notice that she's brought in four Lava Hounds before she even, uh, b before the first uh, air defense had even gone down. So uh, taking out two air defenses at one time, here comes a third Lava Hound, or I mean the fifth Lava Hound. Uh, so she's got three up, and if I'm, if, if memory serves, all three of these hounds survive this this raid. So, uh, heal spell comes down for these loons as they move in to look at these uh, or take out these wizard towers. Uh, so I'm correct that there's two two loon or two hounds wind up surviving here. Um, this thing things look a little bit hairy here, but kind of a perfect use of of two rages and Tesla Farm is gone just like that. And it is tree stars in the bag. Just nice work all the way around, kind of counterclockwise around this base. Uh, and now it's all about the cleanup. I'm sure that HB would have preferred to have both of those hounds pop, or at least that max hound. Um, but three stars is three stars. Nice job, HB. So that is it. Uh, here are the war statistics one more time. And uh, this is Dr. D from uh, the One Hive 2.0 family, and clash on.